how does stem, stem cells find their way? How do they know to get to the blue areas? So if you can just explain the PET scan, the blue areas, and how does stem cells find their way? See, what we do is we inject this fluid, uh, this, we inject the stem cells into a fluid called the cerebrospinal fluid. Mm -hmm. So we, we do something called a lumbar puncture, which is a needle prick at the back. And uh, we enter uh, a space which has got cerebrospinal fluid or CSF. Now this fluid is in the spine but it circulates through the whole brain also. So it is a continuous state of flow. From, from below it goes up and then it, keeps, it comes down. And it actually bathes and gives nutrition to the entire brain and spinal cord and the entire nervous system. So when we inject our cells into the CSF, the CSF actually takes it all over. So every part of the brain is accessible to the CSF and therefore to the stem cells. Uh -huh. Now stem cells have something known as a homing instinct, you know, just like a bird goes out in the morning and knows how to come back uh, to the same place where it went out mm -hmm. from. These cells have an inherent intelligence and they can go to the areas of the brain or the spine which is damaged or is functioning less. Lot of uh, experiments and research has been done where the stem cells are tagged with nanoparticles and been tracked and it is found that these cells go predominantly to the area of damage. So these cells inherently know where to go. For example, if the areas of the brain which are blue are hypermetabolic, these cells will go preferentially there and stimulate repair process and stimulate the functioning of the brain. Apart from that, the rehabilitation which we emphasize also helps guide these cells to the right area. So if a child has uh, is hyperactive or has issues of speech or has imbalance, the therapy is customized to that uh, particular problem and hence stem cell therapy with rehabilitation together functions very well. They work complementary and the rehabilitation also helps guide these cells. So one is their inherent instinct and the other is uh, through the rehabilitation. So the other important thing is that stem cells are like blank slates. That means that if I give you a blank paper and if I give you a pen to write, what all can you do? A lot. A you, lot. Can you, can, you can write. Trace. You can write a new story. Yes, Absolutely. you can write whatever you want to write. Right? So the same way, the, these cells are programmable and you can make them do whatever that you want them to do. And that's why the activity which has to be done has to be defined in that way. So for example, a child has sequencing issues and you have to teach the child and we find that the child learns faster after stem cell therapy is done. So uh, stem cells themselves reach the area as well as rehabilitation helps them do that.